with a new Virgin Islands anthem called V.I. Nice. Yes. And today, we got the new, new V.I. anthem. Yes. Is that okay with you, though? Yeah, well, I am proud to say that, you know. So yeah, you, you don't mind? To say that. No, I don't mind none at all. Okay, so well, what are your feelings about this song that I'm about to release well, from Revelation? Well, this song, I must say that today is a special day for me because, you know, to really, re to introduce to the people Revelation, uh -huh. you know, or reintroduce to the people Revelation because me and Revelation, the people know he's no stranger to me, you know what I mean? And right now, Revelation is a bus pipe records network. Oh, really? Uh, Reval uh, Revelation is one of the first representatives of Boss Pipe Records. Oh, wait, I didn't, I didn't know that either. Style. Yeah, so this is why we're introducing this to the massive. And you get to hear it first on the TV. See, I thought you were just being you. You no, know what I mean? Because is... despite your success, I mean, you're not one of them dudes who just look forward and don't never look back. No, none at all. It's a whole community that we know. You know? Yeah. That's why you see Boss School in the studio right now. You see Beat down, beat studio. down. Yeah, because it's a full support, full network, all the way. Yes, you know, they just do an interview in 105 and leave my house and went straight down there to visit to that's show right. my support. And that's how it's going to be. And Bosco is like my big brother, big cousin. Rancho is like my little brother, big brother, because we went to school from nothing. Right. You know what I mean? So we know the musical schools. And, we know and the one of your biggest tunes, you know? Blessed, was uh, produced by Bosco. Produced by Bosco. See what I'm saying? I, I know that kind of stuff, Bosco. Yeah, <laughs> take a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And, I, the, and this song that we're about to introduce to the people is a song that was, if I'm not mistaken, it was recorded before Virgin Islands Nights. Nice, okay. You know, and because Revelation is working on his album right now, right. he held back the track when he heard Virgin Islands Nights. Nice, right. You know, and they didn't want to really compete with, with the vibes. Okay. But when I heard the song, which was two months ago, now listen to this, you know, this song was recorded more than a year ago, you know. Yes, sir. And I just heard the song within the last two months. And okay. when I heard the song, I said, no, Rev, what you do to me, man? This is the biggest tune right now. Right. You know, and the song takes me back in memory lane. You know, it's a song that really, if you're born and raised in the Virgin Islands, you know, you must, there is something about this song that you could relate to. Right. Because it's talking about, you know, who we are and where we coming from, the things we used to do as children. Yes, sir. You know, when we used to go sports around and buy bike and, yes, you know, bomba shack in Tatol and, you yeah. know, the, the all the jamban days and different party spots and uh -huh. things that people used to do that I know we grew up and a lot of people might not remember. And when I hear the song from Revelation, I said, no, bro, this is the song. This no, is no. the song that will make the people, this is the song that will connect the people to their own history and their own heritage, you know, and who they are. You understand? Yeah, as, I mean, as from growing up. And it, it comes to Virgin Islanders from a different light. Exactly. Uh, I mean, Virgin Islands Nice was an international crossover type tune. True. But well, you got to be from the VI to, to feel this To one. feel this song. You know what I mean? You have to be from the VI to feel this song. And only true Virgin Islanders will overstand it. Those that live here a long time, born here, went abroad and still come back, even if you still live in America. Right. Once you've been in the Virgin Island during these times, it will touch you. That's right. And, and you know? I, yeah. I think it's going to solidify Revelation yeah. uh, as a VI artist. What do you mean? Uh, and take him to a whole nother level. Uh, DSP, Dean Pan. Dean Pan is the producer behind yes, sir. this track. Yes, I so yeah. I, I already know it's a big tune. Yeah, it's a big tune. And you know Dean Pan, anything he put his hands on has to be tough. Automatic. You know, he's a perfectionist and anything me and Dean has done in the past has always been successful. Always. always. So, you know, we continuing to put the work together. No doubt. And, and right now, Revelation. And he kind of worked with you. Dean Pan kind of worked with yeah. you when you were at the phase where Revelation is now. Exactly. I mean, Dean, you Dean are. Has... Oh, stop now. You are an international reggae superstar right now. <laughs> but when you were just a big VI artist. You know yes, what I'm I mean, Dean helped to mold me. The world, yeah. I mean, the VI know that, and most of the world should know. Right. You know, Dean helped to mold the artist that I am today. You know, That's in right. those early eras, Dean was the one that made me feel confident to put out a solo project. Okay. You know, because at the time, we was doing Starlight and Family, right. and Dean was like, listen, Starlight and Family, nice. I love the group, but pressure, you need to do some solo work. And he had the, the utmost faith in me at the time. And so because of that, you know, I just triumph and, and keep doing my thing, and, and now I'm here to do the work. Exactly. So now I'm going to tell you, because I haven't took my eyes off of those expensive shades you're wearing. I'm going to tell you <laughs> that one of my favorite songs... Of all time from Pressure Boss Pipe is Empress, which is produced by Dean Pipe. Dean. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yes. I didn't you even have to, I didn't have to look. I, yeah, didn't, I, I know what I speak up. And you know that. I yes, know sir. that's your favorite. Yes, you keep telling me over and over. Over and over. And, over. and I will continue. So now, with that being said, I got Revelation on the phone line. Good morning. Hey, yo, good morning. Hey, what's the word, my brother? 
Yeah, everything blessed, man. We have blessed with feeling to be here, you know what I mean? We doing this interview with the item, man. Big up to pressure boss fight by all the time. Off thanks to the love big brother has done, no? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Well, big respect. Now, uh, when you come in the studio, sometimes you get treats. Uh, you're not here, so we got to do an in-store, uh, in-store, <laughs> uh, in-studio <laughs> interview one of these days um, because uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the treats are extra special. Pressure <laughs> could tell you about it a little later. <laughs> All right, now, Revelation, tell us about this big tune that you were about to release this morning. Yeah, man, with this tune, well, number one, there's only one Virgin Island anthem. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, nice to the world, of course, but... As we say, it ain't no competition at all. We don't want people to get misconstrued. They say it's just something from memory lane, you know what I mean? Yes, and they, people them from Virgin Islands that, you know what I mean, grow up at most of the time, will be able to relate to it, you know? So this is just something for people to reminisce to and kick back a feel good song for them, you know what I mean? Big up to the Virgin Islands, to all islands, you know what I mean? I'm talking about Tatola, St. John, St. Thomas, St. Paul, you know what I mean? Now, what was your most fond memory of the Virgin Islands? Oh man, there's so much. I have to choose one. <laughs> well, you, uh, give me a top three. I know Bata Shoes ain't gonna be on your list, so you know. What I mean, give me, <laughs> give, give me something good. <laughs> well, you know, when you were young, you know, growing up, making bikes, these stuff frames, you know, we used to yes, pull off a hill and things like that. Eh? Griffith Park, you know what I mean, playing ball, watching the Toledo League, you know what I mean, and them times was, you know, epic times, it was crazy memories. All right, um, man. And days off Friday being around, you know, like, it's just too much, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The man went take it back to Vista Frame. Oh, you mean, mm-hmm. man? And it's much more, man. Trust me, it's like it's so much that I know he can't say it after he had one yeah. time. But, well, but he almost song, did in the song. You know, I mean, I think every good memory is in this song, my brother. And since this is the first time we're going to play this song, and we're going to play this song a lot, I'm going to let you introduce your big tune, Reveal It Revelation. Give me an introduction yeah, for this big tune. This revelation, the royal, the name of this song, Those Were the Days, produced by Dean Pan, Rimshot Records, feel good music from Virgin Islands. You know, there it is. Nah, right, that's what's up, man. Brother trying to take my job. Just keep singing over there, bro. <laughs> Like, yeah, like, yeah. You're too young if you don't know about insomnia and them days. I feel sorry for you. Yeah. You know insomnia. Yeah, Absolutely. you know, passion island dairy, passion fruit yes, juice. Sir. Yes, sir. You know, oh, come on, yo. What you know about them? Use a VI, where you come from? Yes, Ghetto sir. housing, where you come from? Man. Grass Valley, where you come from? Hey, VI. Big, big, big respect, revelation, man. The tune, big. 
So, hey, what do you expect from this song? What, where do you think this song is going to take you, bro? Oh, man. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even know this answer to that question. I just wanted to put it out to make the people feel good. Um, hopefully the people will love it, and you guys will call me for sure. You'll see me a lot down there performing it for you. Yeah, well, hopefully. <laughs> Come on, man. It's a must. It's a must. <laughs> it's, it's granted. Yeah, really. I, I kind of want to put pressure on the spot, but I, I won't do that. You don't have to. I don't have to, so no, I can go ahead? To. Yeah. See, me and this man are lying. I, I know you know what I'm thinking. You know what I'm thinking, right? No, not really. Not really? No. Okay, when, when is uh, the Peace Concert coming up? Oh, the Peace Concert, it'll be coming forward to the people in August, ending of August. I'm um, sure Okay. Possibility revelation will be there. Possibility? See what I'm saying? Come on to you, man. See what I'm saying? <laughs> Which one of them revelation was in on the first one? Yeah, and right. the first one yeah, was yeah. due to technical difficulties. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And he was there for the second one, and he will be there for everyone as long as Jamie can live and survive. That's right. You know what I mean? Because I'm an artist, and more than that, revelation is a real you to me. You know? Real brother. So we can't go nowhere without our real friends. And I not just now, I no revelation too, you know? That's right. Because we hear back, so it's a mutual thing, and we just keep the fire burning and spread some music throughout the world. Yeah. Because we have so much talent, and you know, we can only grab a handful and try to do as much as we can with them. And Revelation has proven to me over and over that he's ready and worthy. You know, he's traveled the world with me. He's been enough places with me. Okay. You know, and open shows so, for me as well. And people always want to hear more from Revelation. So when can we expect a track with you and Revelation? Oh, our next one. Yeah. Okay, we're working on that right now. Okay. As you say, he's working on his new album, and we're definitely going to try to get something together for that. You know, I'm working on my own things too. And, you know, we have long life, you know. So, mm, there's no telling what tomorrow brings. Yes, sir. Yeah. And uh, Revelation, what was it like working with Dean Pond on this project? Oh, man. It's always an epic feeling working with Dean Pond, man. As you said, Dean is a perfectionist, and I know when I come in Dean's studio, I gonna get like such great quality. I know when I walk out of that studio, um, Dean don't let you leave his studio unless it's perfect. No. If you have to take all day, we gonna get it right. So that's what I love about Dean Pan. This man is just uh, one of the greatest producers I've ever met. No gas, you know what I mean? It is, this guy is um, excellent, man. He's very great. So it's always a pleasure. It, is, it was great working with Dean. Uh, is Dean around by chance? Yeah, Dean is right next to me right now. We in the studio as a matter of fact. Okay, can I speak to Dean? Yes, you can. <laughs> you may. <laughs> Rashidi, what's going on, man? You know this is an interview with an artist, right? Yeah, I understand that. Whatever. <laughs> um, hey, so Dean! <laughs> yeah. Man, look, man, you're one of the greats in the music industry, uh, representing for the Virgin Islands. You do some work with Shaggy. Uh, but now you have you have the opportunity to see things from both sides. You know what I mean? That, that international, the traditional, the Jamaican side with, with Shaggy. And now working with the VI artists like Pressure, like Revelation. What do you see for our future? I think you have a unique perspective on the future of Virgin Islands reggae music. Well, right now the world is looking toward the VI, you know. Honestly, everybody got eye on the Virgin Islands right now because everybody appreciates and loves the music coming to the VI right now. You know what I mean? Trust me, I don't know, I don't know the Jamaicans and, and all of them. They're looking at the VI right now. So the VI, we're looking forward to big things. And we, want to, we want to develop an industry. Yes, sir. We want to develop an industry, a music industry coming out of the VI. Not just, you know, I wouldn't want people to look at it as a local thing. We want right. people to say, hey, right. yeah, the VI thing come up. You know what I mean? No yeah. doubt, no doubt, man. I, yeah. and, and you've been to the forefront of the musical transition. I mean, you, you started off with, a, with Apostle... Um, you did some work with Army, Catalyst in the Foundation days. And how do you feel about where we have come from when you began with this reggae movement, this dance hall movement, this Virgin Islands movement, to where we are today? Now we have made great strides, man. I mean, back then, we had a handful of artists. Right now, we got artists on every corner, you know what I mean? That's right. Doing great things. So, yeah, so we have come a long, long way, you know what I mean? And we got man, we got man like like pressure. we leading the the, the midnight, midnight. You know what I mean? I always big up midnight because the man name is yeah. You know, my name is people around the world. No you doubt. No doubt. Yeah, we got to big up the man. Yeah. So yeah, no, the VI thing on a break. No doubt. Also got a shout out Bamboo Station in that same vein as well. Hey, but definitely, man, hey, Dean, hey. I appreciate you for uh, checking in this morning. And uh, the studio is beautiful, by the way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs>
<laughs> Any more yeah. pineapple fight, Fresh man? <laughs> Fresh your boss, man. Big up yourself. Every time, big brother. Yes, man. All right, I'm coming up for my pineapple vitamin. Make sure it's cold, all right? All right, brother. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what it do, man. Big respect to Dean Pine. Hey, Pressure Boss Pine, give thanks for coming through. Same way. Give thanks, bro. Give thanks for having us all the while. Big up yourself, Earl. Earl Day and Quiet, but. Yeah, Earl, I, don't, I don't know what, what's up with that, Earl. Earl is one of the main sources and the main vein them behind the whole thing. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? This is Revelation Manager. Earl thing, came bro. in like security, yeah, though. Yeah, but you don't know how he rolls. Smooth <laughs> and easy, you know? Like the Pink Panther, you know? <laughs> Hey, that's what it do, man. Well, I appreciate y'all for coming through. It is a big tune, and it will be in heavy rotation here at Vivid Streaming. So, hey, give thanks for coming through. I was a blessing to see your pressure. Love. Boss Pipe. Every time. All respect.